Well, good morning everybody and how are you today? And welcome back to Rob Motive JT. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing now. Well, today we're doing another POV video out cruising around and I wanted to get on and kind of talk about the future of my Jeep Gladiator. You know, I've had two Gladiators now. This obviously is my second. Um, kind of took an opportunity. My mom got the Mojave Jeep Gladiator and was going to trade this one. And since I had had a couple of Gremlins, I uh, decided to go ahead and trade off uh, my Gobi Gladiator for this one. So now I have this one. I kind of put all the mods onto this one. Well, I didn't kind of put on all the mods. I did put on all the mods uh, back onto this truck because frankly, I liked everything that I had, right? So there was no reason for me not to go ahead and put those mods back onto this truck. So where do we go from here? You know, I've mentioned before about trading in if Jeep ever came out with a 392. Well, I'm going to go even a little bit further with that. And I'm going to say that even if Jeep came out with a V8, I think, in the Jeep Gladiator, because it would be cool to have more power in this truck. I mean, it's already satisfactory. Don't get me wrong. It's not like this truck does not have enough power because that is certainly not true. It, get, it gets up and goes when you want it to go. Uh, but, you know, let's face it, as a, uh, an auto enthusiast slash truck enthusiast, uh, you really never can have uh, enough power, right? You can always have more. And I would love to have more. Now, that said, is there any other reason, I guess, that I would trade off this Gladiator? You know, I've talked about on my other channels, which by the way, if you're not aware, I have Rob Motive, which is about my Toyota Tacoma, and Rob Motive Tundra about my quest for the new Toyota Tundra. And some people have asked me, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to trade off the Jeep Gladiator, you know, and then have the Tundra and the Tacoma? And the answer to that is no. I think that Probably there will always be, barring any kind of big problems, and I'll tell you something here in a minute, a little story, but barring any big problems with the Jeep Gladiator, I think I'll always have one. And I'll always have one on the, the Jeep JG, JT channel uh, because I love the truck. It is my, it's in my top three of most favorite vehicles ever, which is saying a lot because I've had, I think over 70, vehicles now and to be in the top three is really pretty darn good so the little story i was going to tell you you know my mom has a friend who has a a jeep it's a four-door the jk i believe and i think it's an unlimited too but i'm not sure about that but she has started to experience problems with it they've had it i think about five or six years something like that of course just long enough for the warranty to be out right so they've had it for a while they're experiencing problems with it now and they are fed up with it and i guess two of the big problems they've had one was the steering the steering was bad it was all over the place and of course there was the replacement for the gearbox that did apply to theirs uh, which is strange if it's five or six years old that means that the problem has been ongoing for a while right model year wise but they did have that done, and as far as I know, that did solve the trouble with the steering for that Jeep. But they're also having a radio problem. I guess she had taken the, the Jeep on a trip and was solely relying on that navigation system to get her where she needed to go, and it quit working. It quit working three times on one of her trips to where she was going, and then three more times, I believe, on the trip back from where she was going. So you can imagine the sense of terror that she probably felt while she was on that trip and all of a sudden had no idea where she was, uh, nor what was wrong with the Jeep. So she did take it in, and it's funny, they had called her and told her that her Jeep was done, right? So she goes to pick up the Jeep, and there's no radio in it. Well, what they had done is they pulled the radio and ordered her a new one, but she was just 
left without anything then. Just a hole in the console there, right? So what a drag. Uh, you know, had she had plans to go on another trip or something, now she had no radio, no navigation, and nothing. So what a drag that was. So that's really the only reason why uh, I would ever get rid of my Jeep Gladiator and not have another if it started to develop ongoing problems like that because there's nothing more frustrating you know than having a vehicle that has gremlins especially electronic gremlins so that would be the only way and I'm hoping that that never happens cross fingers so far this new to me Jeep Gladiator has been trouble free now I will say this one only has if you can see I don't know in there but it only has 1983 miles on it so it's basically brand new but so far i didn't uh have any issues with the auto stop as far as a malfunction or anything like that like i had in my other one and she never had any troubles like that i will say though that there was one or two instances maybe where they started it up and they said that the uh i think the auxiliary battery was charging something like that so I don't know, that's not really a hiccup. It's more of a, the system letting you know what it's doing. So that wasn't a big deal. I'm not concerned about that in the least. I think that's okay. So like I said, fingers crossed, no issues like that. As far as mods go with the, with the truck, there's always more things to do. You know, I always see something out on the road or if I go to a dealership or maybe you know, Jeep comes out with something new themselves that will fit this Jeep that I'd like to add. So there will always be ongoing mods and things to the Jeep. I will say, you know, my buddy Randall has had his Mojave on the channel a few times. Uh, we will see more of mom's Mojave on the channel, but he of course put a new front bumper on his. And I gotta say, I really dig that front bumper. He has a rear bumper coming, I believe. So you know it's things like that that kind of give me the the motivation or the desire i guess to do more things to mine and i still have that bumper in the back of my mind because it looks really really sharp on his truck i do have a, a kind of weird i don't know if it's weird a different mod coming up um, and that's my turning my jeep gladiator into a cow uh, i'm gonna do some kind of camo uh car wrapping to it if you will it's not a full wrap or anything like that it's going to be pieces i've talked about it on the channel so if you're curious about that uh, just look back at some of the old videos and you'll get a bit of an idea of what it is that i'm looking at doing as far as that is concerned but i think it's going to be pretty cool i've never done anything like it so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out Anyway, I just wanted to get on, shoot another one of these uh, POV type videos, bring you guys on the ride with me, um, and let you know what my plans are upcoming. The Jeep Gladiator isn't going anywhere, even when the Tundra comes to the channel, uh, my new channel. Uh, it's still going to be around, so no worries there. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see, I'd be curious, or anything that you've done that you've found to be really beneficial to the Jeep Gladiator, or even the Jeep Wrangler because a lot of the mods will fit both. I'd be curious to know uh, because I'm always open to suggestions for things to do with the truck. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.